So, um, we got a request for uh, how to play uh, All I Want, single guitar. So, for the intro, um, it's a C sharp minor chord, but you're not barring your finger all the way through. You're uh, kind of curling your finger so you can let that, that E string ring out on the bottom so it should sound like... That's just how I play it. I mean, you can play it um, with the bar. I just like the sound of the open, the open E. So that's your first chord. C sharp minor. Um, it's fourth fret. So it's gonna go. I like to throw that in there. Um, if if you don't want to throw that in there, you can just uh, keep hitting the C, uh, C sharp minor like this. And then you move on to the next chord. Next chord, um, it can be uh, an A, a regular um, A chord, if you if you want. I play uh, A suspended second, um, which would sound like. I, I just like the sound of suspended chords better. Um, gets a better taste to it. Um, so if you want to play um, A suspended second, you're gonna just play like a regular A chord except you're gonna leave out um, the uh, B string on the second fret so you're not gonna play this note you're gonna play the open string instead you're gonna play a B open string so what we have so far is alright next chord is a uh, a B, B suspended fourth, I think. Uh, that's like a B power chord, but you're gonna curl your fingers to let the last uh, two notes that should be muted in a B power chord uh, ring out. So it's gonna sound like this. Those first three notes are your basic, your your B five chord, I believe. Um, so when you curl your fingers. That you're muting in a B power chord are gonna ring out, so it's gonna sound like in the first three strings, and then. And again, if you don't want to play it like that, I mean, you can just bar the C minor and do your regular A chord and do your regular B chord, so that would sound like. Personally, I really don't, I really don't like how that sounds. I, uh, so that's why I just go. So, that's your intro right there. So you're going to do your intro, and then you're going to get to the part where uh, the verse starts. So, for that, I mean, sometimes I palm muted, sometimes I play it open, but it's the same chords over. Um, so, it's the intro. Same chords, um, I guess you just have to get the rhythm down. So it's gonna be So your C sharp minor gets two measures, your A gets one measure, and your B gets one measure. That's pretty much it for the verse. Um, so what we have so far is Unspoken. You're gonna go to your A suspended second. Not too many chords that are different from the verse, except for one is an E. So you're gonna start the bridge on A suspended second. So it's gonna go into E. It's gonna go into E from there. That's what I'm saying. Let's leave words unspoken. And then you're gonna go to your B suspended uh, fourth. And then you're gonna slide up. Sound 
then uh, back to your aces by the second. When he lands on uh, the word me, you're going to play your uh, B uh, suspended fourth. And then you go into the chorus. Uh, same chords here, nothing different. Uh, C, C sharp minor. Uh, says, All I want is a place to call my own. Then you go to E. B suspended fourth. Keep your A to spend a second. So uh, there's a pause there. You're gonna it. And then you're going to go back into what was the intro. So it's going to be that. And so you're going to go into the second verse. It's going to be like. First verse, then you go back into the bridge, right? And then uh, you get back to the chorus. It just repeats itself. Uh, if you know the song, you you'll pretty much get the picture. Um, so then you have the part where he says, "If you take it from me, live your life for yourself." So that's just up. Uh, Omar, I don't play that part, um, because when I sing, it's hard for me to play at the same time. I'm pretty sure that if I practice, or anybody practice, you could, you know, uh, play it at the same time. But I just let Omar play it, because it's, <laughs> I'm lazy. Um, so what he's doing is he's just doing uh, regular power chords. Um, uh, that's a C-sharp uh, power chord. So it's sound like that. So then you're going to go, um, when he says, if you take it from me, so C sharp to a C to a B, um, to a, to an a E power chord, um, not the low E, because, um, I find that that doesn't sound very, uh, doesn't sound very good with what you're playing. So, I mean, I mean, it's the same note, but... In a higher octave, which makes all the difference. So you're gonna go when he says, "If you take it from me," he's gonna go. F sharp. That's a new one. Oh, uh, power chord. And I don't play that part. I only uh, I start back up uh, playing the guitar back when the third verse comes in. That part is just. again and then he says um, towards the end it's gonna be and then when he goes keep your head down self-explanatory um, I'm sorry if I didn't explain it well enough um, if you need more uh, detail you know just let me know um, I'll be sure to you know throw in some clips if you don't know how to play the chord or whatever anyways that's the song so running through it really quick this is going to be the intro Right? And then it gets to the bridge.
bridge, A suspended second. Take it from me, so. Oh, I just realized I, I never mentioned the second chord to that. Um, that's a just an A power chord. I mean, you can go, or you can just slide it to the fifth fret and do your power chord there. I don't know. I do it there. I guess it's a comes naturally to me. So yeah, um, that's that part. And uh, then you go back straight back into the to verse, the chords for the verse, and then uh, the chorus one more time, and then 